Hi everyone, uh, in this short video I want to tell you very briefly and quickly how to export your snack app from the website and be able to run it in your own computer so you can use your own editor to edit it instead of having to go to uh, snack.expo.io every time. So I have written the instructions here, they are also in, the, in this video description, feel free to refer to them in the description. I also have the links for installing stuff if you need to install them. The first thing you want to do is to install and download and install Expo XDE. This is uh, the environment, uh, this looks like an IDE in a way, you will see it in a bit. So this is the first thing we need to install, so let's do it. When you Google Expo XDE uh, download, the first thing that you see here is going to be XDE installation. It has three links for Mac OS, Windows and Linux. Once you click on any of them, it will directly download the file and then uh, you can install them. It's going to be a pretty straightforward process, just do that. I have already downloaded it and installed it, so I'm not going to do it again. But this is how it looks like. Once you have Expo XD installed, the next thing you want to do is to check whether you have NPM installed. NPM is Node Package Manager. This allows us to, um, in another video I'm going to exp explain why this matters, but for now let's get this working. Uh, it's basically, you know, remember in our app every time we have uh, import reactor components from React or import, import um, for example, here we have import everything as Firebase from Firebase. These library names, these are the packages that are available on Node Package Manager and we import them from that uh, huge repository of packages. And later I'll explain how this works. But for now, what we need is to check if npm is installed. The way we do it on Windows is to open command prompt or cmd and type npm-v on Mac or Linux, you want to open terminal and type npm dash dash v. If you get a number, so I'm going to do it on my Mac, you can open terminal. I'm using iTerm, but you can use terminal as well. If I do npm um, dash dash v, I'm going to get 5.7.1. This shows me that I do have Node Package Manager installed, and this is the version. If you get an error that says not found or something like that, it means you need to install it. How do you install it? By checking out the description, I have posted two links. This is for Windows. It's pretty straightforward. You download the installer, run it, and that's it. Now you should be able to do Node-V and get the version. On Mac, it's one more step. You need to install Xcode from Apple App Store. The link is here. Then you want to install Homebrew by pasting this code in your terminal. Once you do that, once that finishes, you want to paste brew install node. You can read more about Homebrew, which is a package manager. Um, these instructions are also in the description. So, we have at this point installed XboxD. We have also checked if we have NPM. If we didn't have it, we already installed it. Now the thing we want to do is to export our app from Snack. I come to Snack. This is where my project is, the thing that we did in the App Club Bootcamp today and last night. So we export it to IDE, then we go to the directory that we downloaded it, and now we want to extract this, or unzip. So the next step is going to be, so here are all my files from here. The next step is going to be to go back to terminal or command prompt and change directory by typing cd, which really means just change directory, and go to the folder that we downloaded this app to. So in my case it's like downloads and Sina app and here I have um, you can see I have all the files. So what we want to do at this stage is type npm install and press enter and wait for this process to finish. What this do is install all the dependencies of our project. What that means is think about it. We have a React Native project so if you remember in our code we are importing some stuff from React, we are also importing some stuff from Firebase. These are huge libraries that are built by Google and Facebook and there are tons of other libraries that eventually we're gonna learn about. We're not gonna have, let's say you know we have this project on the cloud and we have a bunch of folders and files here. If you wanna export this folder to some other computer if you, or if you wanna pass this project to someone else so they can run it on their system and run it. We don't have to download and 
give them all of these big libraries such as Firebase and React as well. What we want to give them is our project, the files that we have built. The way we tell them, the way we transfer these uh, imports as well is by having a file called package.json in which we define dependencies. So this file is telling everyone that our project is depending, it, our project depends on Firebase version 4.11.0 or our project depends on uh, React Native Elements with this version. When they download all of our files and run npm install, npm install will go to this file, package.json, and install all of these libraries from Node Package Manager. So if I Google npm and React, you could see that there is a package called React available on npm. So by saying npm install, npm is going to go to package. Uh, it's going to go to um, sorry. It's going to go to package.json, find this React Native Elements on npm and download it. Even though this is not that, but you get the point. So again, to um, uh, repeat and to summarize it, package.json is where you keep all the dependencies of uh, Node.js or, or uh, npm or React JS, React Native JS project. It says all of the packages that we depend on here. And the first thing we want to do after exporting is to go to that folder and type npm install to make sure that to make sure that and you see there is a new folder here which is called node modules. What's happening is that npm install is just installing, I mean downloading and installing everything that our project requires. These are all the folders that our project actually has that we can see here. Without these files our project won't work. And in fact this is the reason we have chosen to use Snack because you don't need to install all of these things or know about them yet. What you need to know is focusing on your authentication and building the views and stuff like that. But gradually as we go forward you can learn about this later as well. So look at this. This is a huge number of dependencies that we didn't really know about but npm install is installing all of them for us. If you have any question, feel free to uh, ask in the comment section. Alright, this is done. So now what we can do is to go back to our... Now we can open Expo, that uh, Expo XD that we installed. And at this point we are going to open our project. It's going to take a while. Okay, we want to open our project. Mine was in um, download, Cena app. We want to open the whole folder, and when we do that, we wait for for a while to see the success message on this side. If you try opening your project before doing npm install, you get an error, and it will say it uh, the compiler failed to find uh, npm package manager. Uh, sorry, node modules or dependencies. In other words, cool project open. You can now use share or device. So you can either connect your phone uh, with a cable and just you know open it in your device, or you can. Uh, use the QR code again, which is the thing I'm going to do here. So, then we go to the app again, and let's see. So this time the logo looks a bit different, but we're going to wait for it. And at the bottom it said, I don't know if you can see it, but it says, I think you can see it. It says building JavaScript bundle, and it may take a while. You just wait for it. First time it's going to take a while, but after that it's going to be much faster. You can also see that building JavaScript bundle finished in this amount of time, and now I'm still waiting. So soon we should be able to see our login button and the things that we built in the bootcamp.
There you go. Awesome. There you go. That's it. If you have any questions, ask in our Rocket Chat channel or just comment here.